This year's WWDC is set to take place on June 10th, and one of the main expected announcements is iOS 18. This is likely going to be a relatively groundbreaking software update with major new features and designs, according to Mark Gurman, and he said it could be the biggest software update in the history of the iPhone with a slew of new AI features. Okay, first, let's talk about device compatibility. iOS 18 is expected to work on all iPhones that can already run iOS 17, like the iPhones 10R, 10S, SE2, and newer models. This includes, of course, all the latest iPhones, such as the iPhone 15 lineup. As for iPadOS 18, it might not work on the first generation 10.5 inch iPad Pro and the second generation 12.9 inch iPad Pro as they use an older chip called the A10X Fusion. Also, the update might not be compatible with the sixth and seventh generation iPads, but it should work with the 2018 and newer iPad Pro models, 2019 and newer iPad Air and iPad Mini models, and the 2020 and newer iPad models. For those interested in the launch date, iOS 18 will be announced at the WWDC on June 10th. After that, developers will get to test it, probably around July, and then in September of 2024, it is likely going to come out for everyone alongside the new iPhone lineup. In terms of new features, iOS 18 should focus heavily on AI improvements. Apple is said to be trying hard to catch up with other companies like Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and OpenAI, who are already ahead in AI technology, and the company is spending a lot of money each year, more than $1 billion, on AI research and the technology needed to run large language models. They want to use AI in many ways in iOS 18, making their built-in apps better. For example, Apple Music might give you playlists made automatically, and apps like Pages and Keynote could help you write and make slides using AI. Apple is also updating Xcode, the software used to make apps, to include an AI tool that helps predict and finish code, making app development easier. They're also looking into using AI to test apps with plans to include these features in Xcode. iOS 18 might not have Apple's own chatbot using AI, but it might use tech from Google or OpenAI for chat features. They're talking with Google about using their Gemini AI in iOS 18, but they haven't figured out the details yet. Also, Apple's big plans for AI will take time, so not all the AI features they want might be in iOS 18 right away. Before we dive in, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Level 8. They have the coolest luggage for traveling efficiently. They sent me two incredible products. The Roadrunner Carry-On has quick access leaves for your laptop and tablet, which is a game changer when you're quickly trying to take your laptop out of your bag to go through TV. Yes, say, trust me, it is incredible. And the Road Runner is made of German made polycarbonate for impact protection and weather resistance. It has TSA approved dual locking system, it is spacious, and it has 360 degrees spinner wheels that glide effortlessly. Now, when I saw the Gibraltar aluminum carry on, I was like, wow, it is simply perfection. It is made of aerospace grade aluminum magnesium alloy. It features dual TSA approved locks, but the coolest thing is that it is zipperless. This gives it such a premium look and feel. Additionally, it has slow release handles for noise free use and hand protection, ultra quiet 360 degrees durable spinner wheels, a mesh pocket interior divider for easy organization, a lifetime warranty, and it comes with packing cubes. If you're interested in level 8 products, make sure to use the 15% off discount code Marina Montero 15. I've included a link to their website in the description. And huge thanks to level 8 for sponsoring this portion of the video and making traveling a whole lot easier. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, talking about Siri, we all know it doesn't work properly 100% of times, but good news is that it's likely going to get smarter with the new AI features Apple is adding to iOS 18. 
One source said, and unfortunately the post was deleted from Twitter, that Apple intends to utilize large language models to completely transform Siri into what they call the ultimate virtual assistant. Large language models are the thing behind chatbots, such as ChatGPT, and they leverage vast amounts of data and utilize algorithms to create content based on that data. So Siri will likely become better at chatting with you and remembering your preferences. This improvement will work across all your devices, so Siri can keep track of what you're talking about no matter which device you're using. According to German, Apple is working on making Siri work better with the Messages app. This means Siri could help you finish sentences or answer tricky questions more easily. Also, it could work more closely with the Shortcuts app, which lets you automate complex tasks with voice commands. Now, for those who love to hear about design changes and customization, iOS 18 will probably look a bit different. German previously mentioned that Apple is trying to freshen up the design of the software as early as this year, and iOS 18 might borrow some ideas from Vision OS for the new look. Users can also expect a home screen that's easier to customize. Apple's planning on giving users more control in how their app icons are arranged. The icons will likely still stick to an invisible grid for organization, but the update might allow the option to leave gaps between them for the first time. This home screen update in iOS 18 is said to be the biggest change in a while. And before I keep going, make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think about this customization option that might come to iOS 18. Apple announced that later in 2024, the company wants to start using the RCS standard for texting with Android phones. iMessage will still be there for iPhone to iPhone messaging, but RCS will make texting with Androids better. It will make sharing photos and videos easier, improve group chats, and add things like emoji reactions, red receipts, and real-time typing indicators. The green and blue bubbles are likely going to stay, but Android users will not receive those annoying liked the message messages instead of actually seeing reactions to the actual message any longer. This might sound too basic for some of you, but it's actually an improvement. There are also some new things rumored for the Apple Maps app in iOS 18. Users might get to make their own routes instead of just using the ones Apple gives. This could let them choose which roads they want to use, maybe for a pretty drive or because they simply know the way. There's also talk about Apple bringing over the topographic map feature from watchOS 10 to iOS 18. These maps show hiking trails, how high up you are, and other useful stuff for outdoor adventures. And there's still more to come to iOS 18, including AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid mode, Freeform is also getting a new feature called Scenes, which is going to let people pick specific parts of their boards to move around more quickly, and other accessibility features such as adaptive voice shortcuts. This lets people link a special phrase to a setting that helps them use their device better. Users will be able to select things like voiceover, voice control, and zoom just by saying the phrase. And that's what we can expect from iOS 18. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the new content coming up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.